se acabó. Mario Sofici, the director of Prisioneros de la Tierra, or Prisoners of the Earth, was born in Florence in 1900, and he emigrated to Argentina when he was nine. He went into theater as a teenager, and by the 20s, he was a star of the stage specializing in the classical repertoire. Sofici became interested in cinema during the early sound era, and he made a really close study of it, technically and aesthetically. He made comedies, melodramas, and tango musicals before he took the bold step of making this stunning picture, which is set in the harsh world of the Mensu, the indentured farmhands who worked on the Yerba Mate plantations near the borders with Brazil and Paraguay. Prisioneros de la Tierra is adapted from four short stories by the Uruguayan writer Horacio Quiroga, and was not the first reality-based social drama made in Argentina, but it did set the standard for the form. Los mensus. Como cambian los tiempos. Se acuerda de 300 que sacaron de Villarica para reservar este tormenta en el Brasil. Solo volvieron 20. Se mueren los mensus. Sofici's film was immediately recognized as a milestone in Argentine cinema. This film is very good, wrote the critic for Sur in 1939, and he goes on. It is superior to all others that have come out of our resigned republic. It is also superior to most of those sent to us from Paris and California. The critic's name was Jorge Luis Borges. Thanks to the commitment of Paula Felix DDA and her extraordinary team at the Museo del Cine in Buenos Aires. Working in conjunction with the Cineteca di Bologna, audiences can now discover, or maybe rediscover, Mario Sofici's Prisioneros de la Tierra, which is a landmark in world cinema. <laughs> Pai, mapita, gua.